Let me ask you guys, are you an I eat to live person or an I live to eat person? If you see my food channel, which is right here, you'll know that I definitely live to eat. I will literally plan my travels around food. I mean, I get upset when I'm on a trip and I have a bad meal because if you go somewhere for like a week, then you only get 21 meals and all those meals needs to count. Okay, okay, I promise I'm only a bit crazy when it comes to food, but food is awesome, right? I mean, we all have to have it if we want to, you know, live. But in this day and age of convenient restaurants and delivery services, most people, such as myself, would just concentrate on if the food tastes good and not even think about whether it might be poisonous or not. Well, maybe we should pay attention because a lot of the foods that we all love to eat every single day, which are probably in your kitchen right now, could kill you. Let's start off with something everybody loves, cherries. These innocent, delicious berries can be used in a lot of ways. You can eat them raw, bake them, cook them, make juices out of them, but whatever you do, do not suck or bite down on a cherry pit. That's because if you damage the pit even a little bit, it will produce hydrogen cyanide, which in large enough quantities can cause headaches, vomiting, breathing difficulties, and even kidney failure. Next, let's talk about another much loved fruit that could kill you, apples. Can I miss something here? And uh, I know this is gonna sound really strange to most people, but uh, I hate apples. There, I said it. I, I cannot stand to even look at apples. And it's not that they disgust me. I mean, I like apple pies and apple turnovers and apple desserts, but just the thought of biting down on a raw apple, I just, I, I can't handle it. Maybe I was Snow White in a past life or something. But now I have yet another reason to avoid apples because just like its smaller fruity cousin, the cherry, apple seeds also contain cyanide. So eat enough and maybe you will end up like Snow White. Well, without the dwarves and the prince and the whole coming back to life thing. Now the next item on this list really makes me sad because I love it. And I love it because I'm a fun guy. Sorry, I had to do that. I'm of course talking about mushrooms, but it's true, I do love mushrooms. I love them grilled, I love them in hot pot. The only time I don't like mushrooms is when they're inside a mushroom burger without the beef. It's a burger. But I've gotta say, at least for me, you need the beef. I'm sorry, mushroom, I love you, but you cannot hold down the burger for the long. Anyway, mushrooms are nutritious and delicious, but out of the approximate 38 thousand types of mushrooms in the world, about 5% are poisonous. While some toxic mushrooms are easy to spot because of their bright colors, most of the deadliest mushrooms appear very unassuming. And the most deadly of them all, the death cap, even looks like common edible mushrooms. And if you eat it, it will begin killing you before you even realize something was wrong. Because when you eat a death cap, you typically won't experience symptoms for hours. Eventually, you'll suffer from abdominal pain, severe dehydration, and diarrhea. Meanwhile, the poison destroys your liver. And without treatment, you can experience rapid organ failure, coma, and death. Number four, nutmeg. Remember the whole cinnamon challenge? Well, just be glad there's no nutmeg challenge because nutmeg is a hallucinogenic and just a teaspoon can lead to convulsion, seizures, and vomiting, which can last for days. And if you eat an entire nutmeg, then you'll experience what's called nutmeg psychosis, which can lead to death. Next, something I think we all love and apparently can grow on Mars, potatoes. If you ever look at a potato and notice that it's a bit green, that's not because it's not ripe, it's because of the amount of glycoalkaloid poison which can be found in the leaves, stems, and can build up in potatoes when left out too long. Eating green potatoes can cause cramps, diarrhea, and death, so make sure to discard any potatoes with green sprouts or greenish skin. Number six, almonds. Did you know that almonds are not nuts, but are actually seeds? Which makes me feel a lot better because I like it when things aren't nuts. Yeah, this is the dad joke episode of Beyond Science. Anyway, almonds are one of the most popular ingredients in the kitchen and come in both sweet and bitter varieties with the bitter ones being the most aromatic and flavorful and poisonous. Because if left untreated, bitter almonds are full of, again, cyanide. Eating seven to 10 raw bitter almonds could kill a child and eating around 20 could kill an adult. Number seven, rhubarb. Rhubarb is very 
versatile. They can be made into jams, drinks, and baked into pies. But its leaves contain oxalic acid, which can form kidney stones. And if you eat a lot of it, like over 10 pounds, it could kill you. Number eight, lima beans. Raw lima beans contain high levels of that pesky cyanide again. So it should always be cooked for at least 10 minutes without a lid. So the poison can escape as gas and the water cooking the beans should be thrown away. Because just a handful of raw llama beans can make somebody violently ill. Number nine, cassava. Here's yet another popular food item that contains high levels of cyanide. Cassava is also known as tapioca. Yep, that's the stuff in your bubble tea. Cassava is widely consumed in South America and Africa and is the third largest source of carbohydrates in the world. Just like almonds, there are two varieties of cassava, sweet and bitter. And of course, the bitter kind is up to eight times more toxic. Cassava cyanide content is very high. Just two cassava roots can contain enough poison to kill an adult in a pound could drop a cow. And finally, this last food item is probably the most infamous, the puffer fish, war fugu. This fish is so poisonous, chefs who want to prepare it must go through years of rigorous training. And at the end, there is a test where the chef must prepare the fish and eat it. But as dramatic as that sounds, the chefs who fail, and there are a lot of them to the tune of around 70%, they don't die because they could fail even before the tasting part of the test. And even if they ate the unsuccessfully prepared fugu, they are only eating the flesh, which is less poisonous. If the fish is prepared properly, you can even eat some of the organs, which are the most toxic parts of the fish. But the most lethal organ, the liver, cannot be sold in Japan. And the whole fish is even banned in Europe. You know what's crazy is that some people actually want a little poison on their fish because they would get a tingling sensation on their lips. Um, not judging here, but if you want a tingling sensation on your lips, go eat a peppercorn, not a poisonous fish. Now, I've never had this before, so I'm hoping this fish tastes so good it's like biting into a physical concentration of euphoria. Because I'm hoping people are not just eating this because they want to eat something that could potentially kill them. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. See you later.